friends welcome back to the vlog so today i thought we would take a trip down memory lane now my 10 year anniversary on youtube is next month and there are so many things that i want to do to celebrate but also i want to look back and i want to reminisce and see my journey because to be honest my whole last 10 years are on youtube and i look at my life today and the whole community i have around me from people online to people that i work with to the people in my real life my friends they're all people that I've met because of YouTube. So we're finally going to do something today that I've been saying I want to do for the longest time. I am going to take you to each of the different places that I've lived in London and I'm going to share a little bit about my time there and what my, my life looked like when I was there, what my YouTube channel looked like when I was there. Obviously, my YouTube channel started when I was at my mum and dad's house. Now, I think you've seen plenty of that over the last four years, three years. So we're not gonna start there. But that a lot happened there is where it all began. But I feel like I've just kind of closed that chapter. So we don't need to reminisce on that just yet. Now, I look back at my journey quite frequently because I mean, I'm a pretty nostalgic person. Don't we know it? And it is so crazy how just one decision can change your entire life. I often think about how everybody in my day-to-day -day life, besides maybe two people, excluding my family, obviously, I have met because I started my YouTube channel. The friends I have, that are literal friends for life. We're coming up on 10 years of friendship. My work colleagues and even the people that I was in long-term relationships with, I met because of YouTube. My journey to starting a YouTube channel was quite an interesting one, actually. It was a cold November day in 2013. No, I'm joking. No good stories start like that. <laughs> but it was November 2013. And I basically hated school. And where are you when you're 16 years old, five days a week, you're at school. So I remember being sat in at the reception of my school waiting for my mum to come and pick me up. And I was sat with a girl who I was friends with, who I knew from primary school, but she was like the year below me. And we were just talking about starting a YouTube channel. And we agreed, yeah, let's start this YouTube channel together because the idea of starting a YouTube channel was just absolutely petrifying. And over the like the last six months before that, I'd kind of, I'd filmed some videos and deleted them and filmed them. I just never uploaded them and yeah we sat there and we like made this pact where we're like yeah we're gonna do this together and we just never did it but in that moment that was when I decided you know what I am I am gonna start this channel and I finally filmed my first video that I actually uploaded and I always tell people if you want to start a YouTube channel you can't improve until you post your first video so you can film 20 videos delete them refilm it and you'll think you're getting better each time and you probably are but until you actually post that video and you see what it feels like and you get the feedback and you see whether people liked it or not you never know whether you're kind of on the right track or I guess the right track for you so I used all my courage because it was very scary and I posted my 30 facts about me video on the most terrible camera you've ever seen in your life but I did it and I was so proud of myself and I really never knew what it would lead to. So right here in this building is where my London journey started at 17 years old. This is the Halo Tower, you may recognise that name. I had dreamt my whole life of moving to London and then at 17 years old it happened. I moved in with my boyfriend at the time and his best friend. <laughs> Not the most ideal first time moving out living scenario, but you know what? We had so much fun. We had barely any responsibilities and we were so young that we would just make YouTube videos all day. There was so many, we had a ping pong table. It was like my uni, you know, but without the lectures and the degree. <laughs> It just felt like such a surreal time because I had spent my whole life trying to get to London and then I was there and I was a bit like, well, what, what, what now? What's next? And it was so early into my YouTube journey, my, my journey of, I guess, what my life was. I had no plan. Every day we would just go with the flow. I wasn't really making much of an income at that point, so I couldn't really do anything crazy. We would spend just so much time walking around the Olympic Park and just making videos. We would stay up till 3 a.m. making YouTube videos, doing silly things and just having so much fun. When I first moved here, we had so much free time. We were so young, we had like no commitments. And I specifically remember when Pokemon Go came out, we all got on Boris bikes and we biked around the Olympic Park. And that will forever be a core memory for me. Just so much fun. You know, one of those really warm, hazy summer nights and I don't think I'll ever forget that. There's so many, so many memories, so many amazing memories. We have to walk through Westfield to get to where I live next. And I spent 
hours here. Any, any time of day where I didn't know what to do, I would be here. The amount of TGI's, Pizza Express, Las Iguanas that I ate was obscene. I think I looked like a TGI Friday's mozzarella dipper and Jack Daniel's chicken. Like that, it, that was all that was inside me. There's something super comforting about taking your old roots. So journeys that used to feel so familiar and I would do it every single day and then you don't do them anymore. So it's quite a funny feeling being back here doing this journey. I mean, I actually moved out of the area and back into the area so I really did have that experience on the regular but I haven't been here for a while. Right here we have the next place that I live right at the top on the corner that is Applegate House. Wow, what a memory. I had so many firsts whilst living here. I, it was my first time officially moving out and renting a place with like my name on the lease and everything. It's where I learned to drive. And it was the coolest scenario because this is the East Village and so many of my friends also lived here. So I would say there was maybe about eight of us total, which was just so much fun. Can you see that balcony right at the top? One time we put a paddling pool on there, like an actual swimming pool in the summer. It was so funny, but also looking at that, definitely shouldn't have done it. I'm really grateful for that chapter of my life because that's when I really started daily vlogging and carried on for two and a half years. I'm pretty sure it was like moving there that really made me want to vlog and want to carry on but at that point this is crazy i was filming three main channel videos a week seven vlogs so that is 10 videos total and i was editing them all on my own it was i mean back then videos are like four minutes long so it wasn't as crazy but that's a lot i didn't leave the house i was yeah i was just all about it and i loved every single second it's really funny because there is definitely a spot somewhere in stratford where i could stand and do a 360 and you would see each of the the flats that I lived in but the next chapter of my YouTube journey took place in this building right here this was actually quite a transitional time in my life I was living alone alone in the city I I was really kind of figuring out who I was and what I wanted and you were all watching it was in this flat that I filmed some of my favorite videos ever this was when 24 hour challenges were a thing and obviously I had my own place all to myself so I could do that with like no distractions this is where I filmed my 299 flight video where I got on the cheapest flight I could find that had to be two pounds and 99 pence it's a really special flat I'll never forget that and I actually didn't want to move there I wanted to live in a different building I wanted to live in the building literally right here and the estate agent was like no trust me come and have a look at this building and I was like okay whatever you say and I walked in and I was like oh wow I think this is my home and that brings us to the last place that I lived in Stratford I call this chapter the lost chapter <laughs> because I didn't even know what I was doing. We are literally a stone's throw away from where I was before. And this is the last place that I lived until earlier this year. And this place gave me my, my independence back and made me even more excited to start my next chapter. I think the craziest thing about this whole journey that I've been on, well, I guess the journey, my life, is that it is all documented and it is all on YouTube. I have two and a half years of my life documented on here every single day. And then I have maybe two or three times a week after that for literal like I think eight years on my vlog channel. There's definitely some videos that I enjoy re-watching more than others and there's also some that are now private and I don't know it's a crazy journey but the fact that I can literally type in my little sister's sixth birthday and watch it, my little sister's fourth birthday and watch it, it's such a privilege. It's funny being here because I do think in some ways this will always feel like home just because from where I'm sitting there are so many places that I've lived within like a five minute walk. It's a nice feeling. I'm home. I was saying in a vlog the other day that I don't have that many traditional achievements. Like my <laughs> my book, I don't know what it's called, achievements book from school, literally has my exam certificates and my swimming certificates because I just didn't find anything when I was younger that I wanted to partake in. So this is the only award that I have ever received, been presented ever in my entire life. So I very much am proud of this. And of course I need to display it. I don't know where in the house though. Maybe we'll put it up in here for now, just so it's out because it feels like a shame to have it away in a case. Now I know I haven't shared every single chapter of my journey in this video. I guess I've just shared the ones that to me were most impactful. And I mean, if you would like me to go and show you the other bits, I definitely can. They're definitely still interesting. But I think the ones that I shared today are the ones that were the biggest community builder for me. They're when I met the people that were impactful, when I met the people that have become part of my daily life. 
It truly is crazy to think how empty my life would be without the people that I've met through this platform. Kind of crazy, but yes. The, uh, the million plaque is taking pride of place and the next goal is to get another one because they all have to be balanced. We have a 100,000 plaque for this channel. We need a million plaque for this channel. So, I mean, maybe I should do something crazy like vlog every day and until I hit a million. <laughs> But take this as your sign. If you've ever wanted to start a YouTube channel, this is that sign. This is the push that you needed. I will be here to support you. If you would like, I can start up my new YouTubers playlist again. I used to have a playlist where you guys would just DM me. I would add your YouTube videos to my playlist and it would be on my channel. So you can go and watch your videos on there, discover some new YouTubers on there and I would update it every single day. So you always knew there was fresh content on there and you always had a place for your videos to be found and seen. So let me know and I can completely start that up again but yeah it's cool to tell my story I think I have a really cool story and although I barely scratched the surface today I hope that gives you a bit more context on how I ended up here how my like if you've just found me from my moving series that's kind of a little bit about me and how I got here it's definitely been a journey and it's one that I definitely feel like I'm completely still on and I feel so privileged that I get to continue sharing it with you